To begin Sebastian Ajo's career simulation at 24 years old, Ajo is looking to lead the Carolina Hurricanes back to the Stanley Cup. Ajo is having a solid year, recording 33 goals and 50 assists for a team high 83 points. With a fantastic 48, 26, and 8 record, the Carolina Hurricanes are taking on the Pittsburgh Penguins in the first round. Carolina was on a roll through two rounds, but they would be stopped by the eventual Stanley Cup champion Montreal Canadiens. It was a great postseason performance from Ajo, who's recording 16 points in 19 games. Heading into this season, the Hurricanes are looking to make another deep playoff run. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 4,000 subs by the end of the year, and every single sub helps a ton. And drop a like, I want to see if we can get 500 likes on this video. Ajo was having a slightly slower year, recording only 73 points, consisting of 31 goals and 42 assists. And that slow season definitely had an impact on the team, as they would miss the playoffs with a 40-33-9 record. With one year remaining on Sebastian Ajo's contract, Carolina is going to have to leave a good impression if they want him to stay on this team. Sebastian was back to his regular production, recording 37 goals and 44 assists for 81 points. But just because he's back to his normal form, doesn't mean this team is. They would miss the playoffs once again with a 38-32-12 record. In free agency, after the Hurricanes left a horrible final impression with Ajo, he decided his future wasn't in Carolina, and he went and joined the Florida Panthers. This team's looking incredible, and if they don't win a Stanley Cup together, this might be one of the biggest disappointments in NHL history. Now this is something I didn't expect. With Ajo playing with even better line mates, he's having one of his slowest seasons recording only 56 points in 82 games. Luckily, his season wasn't linked with the team's success, as they're going to be making the playoffs with a 44-32-6 record. Florida wouldn't be able to catch their stride in the postseason, and they're falling to Boston in 6 games. It seems as Ajo's disappointment continued in the playoffs, as he only recorded 3 points. Coming into this season, changes were made moving Ajo to the second line and Barkov back up to the first. And that move worked out great for everyone, Ajo's bouncing back with 72 points, while Barkov's leading the team with 95. Florida also saw improvement from that move, finishing with a league best 49, 16, and 17 record. Yeah, we lost 17 games in either overtime or shootout. The Panthers did have more playoff success, but it wouldn't be enough as they would fall to the Montreal Canadiens. Sebastian pulled his own weight in the playoffs, recording 3 goals and 8 helpers for 11 points. After seeing lots of success from the line change Florida made last year, they're sticking with that move coming into this season. And it's an even better season for Ajo, as he's finishing 2nd on the team in points, with 43 goals and 34 assists for 77 points. And Sebastian wasn't the only one that did better, the Panthers would win an additional 6 games and they're finishing with a 52-23-7 record. However, that success isn't translating to the postseason, with the Tampa Bay Lightning taking us down in 7 games. Ajo did what he could, recording 5 goals and 1 assist in 7 games. With Florida unable to win with the stellar roster, we're willing to do whatever it takes, even if that means stacking our first line. And that move to left wing did not work out for Sebastian, he's only recording 27 goals and 42 helpers for 69 points. It also didn't work out well for the team, as they lost an additional 8 games, finishing with a 44-29-9 record. When the playoffs came around, not too much changed, Florida's fallen to Philly in the first round. Also, can we talk about Montreal for a second? I feel like they've made it to the Stanley Cup final a lot in this sim so far. Once again, Ajo wasn't doing too much in the playoffs recording only 4 assists. I'm not even sure what to do with this team anymore. We have the talent, we just don't produce when it matters most. Speaking of production, Ajo's is very similar to last season with him potting 21 goals while picking up 48 helpers for 69 points. Florida finished with a 44-32-6 record, but I don't care. What you did in the regular season doesn't matter. We're in the playoffs. This is when it truly counts. And just like that, we lose to Montreal in 7. This is exactly what I mean. When the games matter most, this team falls apart. Ajo scored 6 points, but who really cares? We need to win when it matters most. With only 2 seasons left on Ajo's contract, his time in Florida is coming to an end. The only way I think he stays on this team is they go on some kind of miraculous postseason run. Ajo's production this season is where I thought it would have been during his whole stint in Florida. He's scoring 30 goals while picking up 53 helpers for 83 points. The Panthers did have a better year, finishing with a 47-29-6 record. Sadly, they're the same old Panthers, and they lost to the Buffalo Sabres in 7 games. On the bright side, we did make it to the second round. Ajo was incredible in the playoffs. He recorded a team-high 19 points, consisting of 5 goals and 14 assists. But there is one thing I need to point out. Look at the production from our top 3 guys. Then look at everyone else. A bit of support would be nice. With one year remaining on his contract, it seems Ajo's time in Florida has come to an end. Sebastian had another decent season, recording 27 goals and 50 assists for 77 points. And with a 43-33-6 record, Florida is an absolute disaster, and I can't wait till free agency so Ajo can get out of here. Like, how do you miss the playoffs? 
This team's an absolute disgrace. When free agency came around, Sebastian Ajo was quick to leave the Panthers, and he's headed all the way west to join the Las Vegas Golden Knights. My expectations are pretty low, so it's almost impossible for you guys to disappoint me. Sebastian was fantastic this season, finishing with 34 goals and 48 helpers for 82 points. With a record of 45, 33, and 4, Vegas is making the playoffs while the Panthers on the other hand, they're nowhere to be found. It seems that Ajo made the right decision leaving. And his decision might be better than I thought, because here we are in the Stanley Cup Final with the Las Vegas Golden Knights taking on the Montreal Canadiens. Sebastian, this might be your one and only chance to win a Stanley Cup. It's time to win when it matters most. Well, swept in four. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. Ajo, you were great during the postseason. I'm sorry we couldn't get you that cup. I figured it out. It's been in front of my eyes this entire time. What team has been incredible this entire simulation? The Montreal Canadiens. And what team sent an offer sheet to Sebastian Ajo? The Montreal Canadiens. The only way for Ajo to win a cup is he must join Montreal. Instead, he left Vegas and joined the Blackhawks. It's another decent season for Sebastian who's recording 18 goals and 52 helpers for 70 points. Chicago's doing pretty good as well, finishing with a record of 47, 25, and 10. However, in the first round versus the Edmonton Oilers, Chicago's going to be upset in 7 games. In the 7 games he played, Sebastian did alright, recording 10 points. With Chicago failing to win a cup, Sebastian Ajo is off to another team and he's joining the Detroit Red Wings. Too bad he didn't join the Montreal Canadiens. Maybe he would have won a cup. At 36 years old, age is starting to catch up with him and he's having a slower year, recording only 61 points in 82 games. With a record of 45, 30, and 7, Detroit's looking to help Ajo get his one and only Stanley Cup. Sadly, that won't be happening as they're falling in the first round to the Devils. Ajo did his thing in the playoffs though, he's scoring 6 goals in 7 games. To my surprise, Sebastian Ajo is actually signing a 2 year deal with the Red Wings. I would have preferred a 1 year deal, but hey, go secure the bag. Sebastian Ajo continues to regress, scoring only 53 points consisting of 15 goals and 38 assists. Detroit's not going to impress anyone with their 42, 35, and 5 record. They didn't make the playoffs though, so maybe make some noise, maybe go on a deep playoff run, but that's not happening. They're falling in 6 games in the first round. Ajo continued to do his fair share in the playoffs, scoring 4 goals in 6 games. At 38 years old, Sebastian Ajo isn't ready to retire yet, and he's signing a 1 year deal with the Toronto Maple Leafs. For a 38 year old, Ajo continues to produce all right numbers, recording 61 points in 82 games. With a 51, 28, and 3 record, this is it. Ajo's last true chance at a Stanley Cup. We all know what you've gone through to get to this moment. There's nothing I can say. It's in the hands of EA simulation. So we already know you're screwed. And in perfect fashion, Montreal is the team ruining our Stanley Cup dreams. This couldn't have worked out any better. Ajo did way better than I thought he would in the playoffs, recording 12 points in 13 games. To finish out his career, Sebastian Ajo signing a two-year deal with Dallas, but this team sucked. Nah, I'm just kidding. This guy refuses to retire, and after those two seasons, he continues to play even though he's in the AHL. And I'm not simming any longer, so thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I definitely recommend checking the one out on screen, and remember to drop a like and subscribe.